what is going on? It is Obadiah, and today we are back playing some ARC, uh, continuing the tutorial series. The game is going to be released in about a month, and I figure, hey, there's so many videos out there, but has there been an updated tutorial recently? I don't know, but I definitely want to make one. Uh, that's a nice way to kind of revisit some of the basics and definitely think about all the stuff that I've known after thousands of hours of playtime that people who are just starting might not know. If you guys do enjoy the videos, if you learned something, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button, and of course, feel free to subscribe and share and ring the notification bell if you haven't done so already. So today, we're actually going to load into our very first server with our brand new survivor um, i made this guy just fairly normal dude it's normally how i play and we're going to start with west zone three it's a zone that i just personally like um that's where we're going there there are some zones that are labeled as easy which are usually in the south at least on this map which is the island uh which is where we're starting but let's go ahead and create this sucker and let's see what happens so you go ahead and load in so there it goes now, if you get killed as soon as you load in, that's absolutely fine. Unless you're on a hardcore server, of course. That's a whole other story. But you load in, you take a minute, you gotta look, you gotta scratch yourself in the arm, <laughs> and uh, now you're on a beach and you have nothing. So what are you gonna do first? You need to look around and find yourself some resources. First things first, you got water. Whoa, okay. That's what you gotta run. Shift to run, by the way. Ugh. We're being chased by a sea. We almost got killed right off the bat. Just run. <laughs> So when you're running, you can press E to start gathering bushes. You just keep tapping it. You can't hold it. You just got to keep tapping it over and over again. You gather these bushes. It's like this one here you can gather. But this regular grass, you cannot. Uh, is he still chasing us? Nope. He's just chilling there. That's good. Uh, so gathering bushes is going to give you something. Like I said, you press E to gather. Uh, if you're standing just on one bush, you can hold it. But you can't hold it and then continue to the next bush. Um, and then you can take those berries that you just gathered and you can eat them for food. They don't increase your water very much. They used to. You used to be able to stay higher with them. You can't really do that anymore. It's not super effective. Uh, but anyways, you hold shift to run. So let's go ahead and get back down to this water. Because even though I'm not thirsty right now, I will be in the future. So I want to show you guys how that's going to work. So what you do is you just run up to any water source like so. You look at it and you press E. E is drink. Oh, I picked up a stone because there was a stone there first. So E is your gather. It's your open doors. It's your drink. Leave me alone, Mr. Mr. Sarko. Come on. So, if you take a look to the bottom right-hand corner of the screen, you're going to see all these little bluish, slightly greenish icons. We're going to keep running while I talk about this, because I don't want to die this fast. So, when you see those little icons, the top one is your experience bar. The next one down is your weight. The water drop is obviously how thirsty you are. And the little, like haunch of ham is food the one below that is stamina which you can see going down as i am running and then below that is your health bar so those are very important to monitor uh at pretty much all times i mean you'll know when something's going bad and the game will let you know if you are hungry or starving to death or something along those lines so uh but what you want to do next is start gathering stuff so you like i said get berries first um that's always nice nice little something to eat and then you hit i for inventory Okay, now in here you'll see all the stuff you picked up as well as a bunch of skins and stuff that you just kind of start with. Uh, you can ignore all those for now. You can hold on to them. You can drop them. I'm going to drop them so we can see just the stuff we picked up. Um, if you hover over something and hold O, it'll drop stuff. But, so these are what we got. These are berries. Now we've got all, almost all the types of berries. We're missing azul berry. But we got tinto berries, which you can eat. Ember berries, which you can eat. Medjo berries, which you can eat. Narco berries, which if you eat will put you to sleep. And stem berries, which if you eat, will help you regain a little bit of stamina and wake you up. So, those are the different berries. Also, azul berries, which are just a blueberry, which, uh, let's see if we can get some right here. Hey, look, we got one. Perfect. Or azul berries, which you can also eat just like regular. And the way you eat these, you can hover over them and press E. You will eat one. You can right-click and consume. Uh, you can hold it under your hot bar like this. Your bar down here at the bottom, which corresponds to the numbers at the top of your keyboard. Uh, you can just hold E over them to eat a bunch. And when it's on your bar, you can eat it while you're walking around. See, I put it in the zero slot. I hit zero, you eat one. It's great. <laughs> okay? Very, pretty, pretty basic stuff. Uh, now, once you start getting berries, now you want to start gathering other materials. Because you are going to have to build things and craft things. And the best way to do that first is to get out the mold fisticuffs and punch a tree. Left click is punch. You punch a tree and you can get thatch. You can see what's gathering on the left-hand side of your screen. Here we go. Now, punching a tree does damage you a little bit, so you do want to be wary of that, not out-damage yourself, because if you can, you can first of all kill yourself, uh, but second off, uh, once you get to a certain low health, you actually move slower and will have a lot of trouble getting away from things, and you do drop all your inventory on death. So you want to go ahead and punch these trees, uh, but you can't make just everything using just thatch, which is what we're gathering from punching these trees. I think occasionally you might be able to get a piece of wood as well, um, but you are going to need stone, and you can find your first stones by picking them up off the beach. 
You'll see stones like this. These are pick upable, and you can grab these, okay? And once you get those, it'll help you to start making stuff. So you want to go ahead first and gather up a bunch of stuff, gather up some berries. Uh, you also get fiber by gathering bushes, which you're going to need. Punch some trees and get some wood. Pick up some stones off the beach. And then we're going to go into what it takes to craft things in the next video. So for today, guys, I do think that is going to be it. If you guys did enjoy hanging out with me today, if you learned something, do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. And of course, don't forget to subscribe and share if you haven't done so already. You can also check me out on our social medias. Uh, and also, I have a Patreon. You can check out my Streamlabs tip jar in the description below. But like I said, guys, for today, that is going to be it. I really do appreciate you coming to hang out with me today. And until next time, I will see you later.